wrote out a suicide note. I had a very specific exactly how my life was gonna end. I remember I crying to myself in the car. This lady just out of nowhere just walks toward my car and she knocks on my window and she hands me this cross with, with a, bra a bracelet with a cross on the end of it. And she says, you need to have this. And she turned around and walked away. Right at that moment, that happened and that's when I, I clutched that and I just I screamed out like, like a madman in the car. Like I'm screaming out to God, if you're there, do something. My father's business is a, it's an outreach that we started in the city of Zion. We pretty much just bring kids that might otherwise be doing other things in the street or hanging out, make sure they're safe every Friday night. This is just a place where everybody, all the kids, can get to a safe place, you know, stay out of trouble. We open the door as soon as they get out of school. We let them play basketball or play video games. Then we break them and we make sure everybody eats. And then we break down, we call it halftime, which is the main, the main thing that we do here. It's the main reason. We have a lesson every week. Each and every one of you young men and young women in here have a choice. We don't turn kids away. These aren't just the good kids. We have somewhere to go for even the kids that are low and even the kids that don't think anybody cares. We will show them their love. Every kid out here needs somebody to look up to and manage the person. A lot of them don't know that it's a cop that's actually running this, so a lot of them come, they won't even shake my hand when they get here. Uh, so it's my goal by the end of the night, they're giving me a hug. He's one of the greatest people I know because he's a police officer and he's been through hard times, but God help him. Let's pray, guys. We're taught to, to not be vulnerable. From the minute you become a cop, you don't be vulnerable. But I, I like to break that stereotype. He changed his life around and he made me want to change my life around and he put a smile on everybody's face in here. Mostly we're made up of uh, fatherless kids and I didn't realize I was going to become the adopted father of uh, hundreds of kids but it's what I live for. Matt is one of the coolest people in the world. Um, he's like a dad to me. Really he's just always there for us. I mean he doesn't have to be and he chooses to be. These are all my babies. And it, th there's, I feel like I'm the luckiest human being on the face of this earth when I realize what I was at and what, and what the Lord has brought me to and what is still in front of us. I don't even know what to say sometimes. I gotta pinch myself. These, these kids are so wonderful. And, and I'll do this until, until my last breath on earth. I'll, I'll never stop doing this.